hey everyone welcome back to the channel i'm back with another red dead 2 mod because the mods have been working and making for uh, rdr2 seems to be not working for many people so i thought uh, i found something uh, else something new it is super easy uh, unless the other mod uh, it is it has many options uh, and it also has some tweaking options too like uh, i'll show you in a bit so right now i have not installed it and my settings are on 1080p and everything is on ultra or high uh, here as you can see if you want to see uh, the settings you can slow down the video or pause it so everything is on high or ultra and you have to be on the directx 12 before applying the mod so uh, set that uh, api to directx 12 before applying the mod and then apply it and okay you can see the my dlss is on quality so on ultra high uh, 1080p dlss quality without the mod i'm getting uh, 50 to 50 to 60 fps on uh, this open ground so yeah let's begin the mod shall we first i'll quit the game after that <clears throat> download this zip from the link in the description red dead 2 fsr dlss xcss mod uh, curtis got everything uh, every single upscaler you can uh, use in the game I extract it to the directory where was it okay uh, after that copy everything inside the folder and then go to your red dead 2 installation directory for me mm, this is the installation directory and paste everything where the rdr2.exe is located uh, after testing just run the game from the exe or desktop shortcut whichever you like you guys can skip 10 seconds at this point Okay, now I'm in the game and uh, the mod is uh, working from the beginning but I'll show you uh, the every tweaking and setting guide so if you after opening the game if you don't see your mod is working uh, you need to just hit the end button on your keyboard every keyboard had this like 60 percent full this full keyboard 100 percent every keyboard has this end button so press the end button and you will see this kind of menu on here so you can drag it just here I'm just dragging it just here and you can see my various tweak option here like right now it's using the dlss because i'm using an rtx 2060 you can switch to fsr 3 upscaling and you can see this is working fully with fsr 3 now here is the option to double the frame rate a generation off or on now i'll turn this off and see the frame rate has dropped to the uh, previous one um, without the mod and you can turn it back again and the frame rate, frame rate will be boosted uh, you can also try the async compute on amd gpu uh, do not use it with the nvidia i don't know nvidia does not work properly with the async compute so amd has a better chance of success with the async compute so enable this your game will crash one time but after that you can run it uh, smoothly uh, so yeah ssr3 is up, uh, using then you can even switch to xcss uh, as you can see xcss is also working uh, enable frame generation you can take and take whichever you like if you want to take the frame generation will be turned off if you take the frame generation will be turned on 
uh, you can also use DLSS so there is a lot of option and a lot of tweaks in this setting in this mod which I have to say mm, I'll switch to DLSS and you can even choose the DLSS presets from this menu like here uh, I like the uh, D mm, preset D mode because it's a little bit sharp and I can say everything more clearly you can choose the uh, DLSS you can use the force native resolution and uh, the main thing uh, which is here hood fixing like if your hood is flickering uh, you might have not ticked this so if you untick this you can see the hood is uh, glitching and flickering so if you then if you take this again your hood will be uh, fixed so yeah this has many options try to uh, see which one fits uh, better for you and which are more stable gives more fps uh, i'm just here to guide you guys to the mod and install it and then you can try and we can research which one works best for you so yeah this will be it guys uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if it helps you now i'll you can press end again to uh, remove the mod uh, remove the yeah. ui from the screen now i'll just mute the mic and play the game for one to two minutes uh, just to show you how the mod is working and enjoy the video guys i'll see you in the next one thank you